When we are first introduced to Kristoff, he was just a young child with a friendly reindeer carving ice and exploring the kingdom of Arendelle without anyone looking after him. At first, I thought one of the ice harvesters Kristoff followed must have been his father, and that was who was supposed to watch over him. But after Kristoff encounters the magical trolls in the forest, and they take him in as their own, I'm gonna keep you. It seems Kristoff has no remorse leaving the life he knew behind, and no one seems to come looking for him. Not even his parents. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm super excited I'm finally going to theorize on what may have happened to Kristoff's parents. If you'd like to learn more about Kristoff, I've provided all of the links to Frozen and the resources I used in the description. And to continue discussing Frozen with me, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Although Kristoff's parents are never truly mentioned in Frozen, they were definitely considered when developing who Kristoff was. You see, in an interview conducted by a writer from OurKidsMom.com with Frozen directors Chris Buck, Jennifer Lee, and producer Peter Del Vecchio, Lee excitedly explained Kristoff's backstory. She stated Kristoff was an orphan, indicating his parents had either died or abandoned him and was a wild child that just couldn't be tied down to the orphanage he lived in. That kind of sounds like another Disney character I know, but I just can't put my finger on it. Ah, I'm sure I'll think of it later. Kristoff loved sneaking out, exploring the woods, following the ice teams, and befriended Sven in the process. The creators of Frozen thought through Kristoff's situation and even found it necessary to give him a last name, Bjorman, which was confirmed in the Essential Guide and was initially referenced in a deleted scene. I'm her sister, Princess Anna of Arendelle. Kristoff huh. Bjorgman. Huh, weird. It's kind of funny, Kristoff has Bjorman and Hans has... Uh, of the Southern Isle. But then Anna and Elsa don't have any last name. Weird how those things work. Anyways, during the production of Frozen, Kristoff's backstory was thought through, so who were Mr. and Mrs. Bjorman, and what happened to them to result in Kristoff becoming an orphan? In Hans Christian Andersen's The Snow Queen, Kristoff is a combination of one, a young poor boy Kai, who is in love with the Anna character named Gerda, and two, a young girl who helped Gerda along her journey, spoke to some animals including a pet reindeer, and whose parents were robbers. Since Kristoff is in love with Anna, like Kai is in love with Gerda, and Kristoff assists Anna with Sven, like the robber girl did with her reindeer Bay, then we can see Kristoff has definitely taken on some characteristics of these individuals in the Snow Queen. But did Kristoff acquire any other similarities? I think so. And these similarities between Kristoff and the characters tell us more about the Bajorman family situation. Much like Kai, there is evidence to suggest Kristoff's family was fairly poor. Remember, Kristoff had very little dispensable income when he goes to Wandering Oaken's Trading Post. Ooh, and sauna. Ten's all I got. Help me out. Only ten, um, Arendelle bucks? In addition to Kristoff being poor like Kai, Kai also slept within a small attic of a home while Kristoff and Sven seem to frequently sleep wherever they can find a roof, seen through them planning to stay in Oaken's shack overnight. Both characters frequently stay in tiny, rustic places. Since Kristoff has little cash and no home similarly to the Snow Queen character Kai, I think Kristoff and his family likely struggled to find a sustainable income as well. So what was going on in the family or the world to result in the poverty of the Bajormans? Well, I think they struggled because Mr. Bajorman was an ice farmer. Since there are suggestions Kristoff and his family never had much extra money, then becoming an ice harvester could make sense, especially during the winter. Ooh, that's a rough business to be in right now. I mean, that is really... Mm, that's unfortunate. Ice harvesting is a seasonal occupation, meaning that it succeeds during select times of the year. With ice no longer being demanded over the long winter months, since 
there was snow everywhere, Kristoff's family wouldn't have had much to live off of during those time periods if Mr. Bajorman was an ice harvester. Plus, even though Kristoff was adventurous and free-spirited as an orphan, we see in the film and learn from the book Olaf and Sven on Thin Ice that out of all the places in the world, Kristoff would follow those ice farmers up into the mountains. He followed those men to collect ice for a long time, seen through him gaining the nickname Icicle when he was a young boy after they had to save him from falling into the frozen lake in Olaf and Sven on thin ice. Those men Kristoff worked with cared about his life, and Kristoff enjoyed their company, and this relationship would have easily been formed if Kristoff's father had once been one of those men. Maybe the ice farmers looked after Kristoff once his father had left, and Kristoff wanted to be around them because they had always known them. I think Mr. Bajorman was an ice harvester because Kristoff's similarities to Kai suggest he has always been in poverty and he possessed a strong connection with the ice harvesters as an orphan. At first, this made me think Mr. Bajorman would have perished from an accident on the ice and maybe Mrs. Bajorman died during childbirth, but then I found the other character Kristoff was based on from Frozen's original story and I realized their absence could have come in a completely different way. Maybe his family did find some other creative ways to earn Arendelle bucks over the winter. Maybe, similarly to the other character Kristoff is based off of from the Snow Queen, and out of frustration for their inability to acquire a sustainable income from ice harvesting alone, the Bajormans became robbers. Oh my goodness, I could never steal. I feel guilty taking more than one free sample at Sam's Club, so there's no way I could do anything like rob a bank but I think it was within the realm of the Bajormans. Initially, in my mind, I wanted to believe Kristoff's parents were kind people who were maybe just trying to make ends meet to support their son. I thought maybe what happened to them was a result of desperation to help their only child. And I think that definitely could be true, but there was really nothing to support this. Everything I found actually supports the Bajormans to be cruel, selfish people, which was a trait Kristoff seemed to initially express in a deleted scene. Please, sir, what news? Please, princess, what payment? Kristoff seemed to possess a very rough and selfish outlook in the original story, which could have come about from his feelings of seclusion described by the trolls. The isolation is confirmation of his desperation for healing hugs. Kristoff possessed a feeling of isolation, suggesting he was never shown affection from his family or the orphanage he stayed at. And it seemed to get even worse when I examined reindeers are better than people. Reindeers are better than people. Sven, don't you think that's true? Yeah, people will beat you and curse you and cheat you. Every one of them's bad, except you. Oh, oh no, no. Poor Kristoff. This lyric strongly suggests that Kristoff has had very bad experiences with every other human he has encountered, including his parents. The Bajormans seem to not only be emotionally distant, but abusive, terrible, and destructive parents. Everything they did was not to benefit their son. Rather, they acted to benefit themselves, further supporting the idea they could have turned to become robbers when they began to struggle financially from the ice trade. So whatever happened to these possibly cruel parents? I acknowledge there are endless scenarios of what could have happened to his parents, but in my mind, because all of the evidence supports their poverty and self-serving nature led them to become robbers, I either think they died during a heist, were arrested, or the option I think is most likely based off of Kristoff's lack of trust towards humans, they ran away from Arendelle when the authorities began to close in after a series of robberies. The isolation and pain Kristoff felt could have come from his parents abandoning him for riches. I mean like, that's bad. That's ugh. Once again, poor Kristoff. In summary, Kristoff's parents didn't have very many Arendelle bucks. I think Mr. Bajorman was an ice harvester because Kristoff's similarities to Kai suggest he has always been in poverty and he possessed a strong connection with the ice harvesters as an orphan. 
Maybe, similarly to the other character Kristoff is based off of from the Snow Queen, and out of frustration for their inability to acquire a sustainable income from ice harvesting alone, they got in over their heads robbing Arendelle for themselves. Either from dying at a robbery, being arrested, or what I think is most likely, they fled. Kristoff became an orphan. Without his parents, Kristoff was sent to an orphanage and was a wild child that just couldn't be tied down to the orphanage he lived in. Until one day when he was taken in by a new family. I say friends, they're more like family. When I was a kid, it was just me and Sven until they, you know, kind of took us in. Hey, I finally remembered who Kristoff is like. Kristoff is very similar to Flynn Rider from Tangled. They're both orphans around the same age, who we now know may both have had experiences with thievery and who dreamed of escaping their situations and eventually did. Maybe these two were in the same orphanage. Maybe they were friends. But I'll be discussing that in the next Discovering Disney episode. If you enjoyed theorizing on Kristoff's parents, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more Magical Frozen videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I'm starting a program today where every like on a post earns you one Arendelle buck, which is quite a deal. You could be rich in Arendelle very quickly. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. Do you think Kristoff was an orphan because his parents were thieves? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.